Hello, welcome in. My name is Sweet Phil, and I do super quick DaVinci Resolve tutorials here on this channel. Now, right here today, I'm going to show you how to do something similar to this right here. Now, you can put this, I use this for thumbnails, but you can also use it for video, and you can adjust this to your liking. This border right here I use for my thumbnails just to kind of set them apart from everybody else. If you see that red border that goes around three sides, you know that is a Sweet Phil video on my main channel for Diablo 2 Resurrected, but that is not the important part of this video. Let's go ahead and zoom in, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do this border. And I'm going to go ahead and get out of your way so I don't block anything and you see all the information that you need. So as we jump into here, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe up. Just help a small channel out like mine right here. Kind of get somewhere here on YouTube. Now, there are a couple different ways to do this, and I'm going to show you both. One super quick and another one that is also very, very quick, but is also more customizable. You can save it and just drag and drop it over stuff anytime you want to. And you can have it personalized exactly the way that you want to. So I'm going to go ahead and show you both of those here today. First of all, I'm just going to grab a random footage from uh, one of my streams I did over on my main channel. Not really important, but you can see this is a video of me playing video games and trying to read chat. Now, the first thing up under toolbox here, come down to effects. And once you're in effects here, you can see just down a little bit here, colored border, super obvious. Go ahead and drag and drop this on your footage. Boom, you can see it hopped right up over there with the border. Go ahead and select effects up here in the inspector. And there are some adjustments here you can make. If you wanna go ahead and pick a different color, We'll go with the red that I generally use a lot of times. You can go ahead and change the border width, make it real thin. You can make it real thick. That is up to you. You can go ahead even and do the radius on the corner. That's kind of an interesting look. Maybe if you're using it for thumbnails or something like that and soft edges for whatever reason, maybe if you're doing like a dream type of video and you wanted it to, to look that way. So that's about all the type of effects here that you can really do on this type of thing. But we're going to go ahead and just get rid of that and I'll show you the other one that you can do. First of all, up here in the toolbox, select effects and you want to grab a fusion composition. Now, don't get afraid. I know fusion composition sometimes can be confusing. This is essentially the easiest possible fusion composition you almost could ever do. So go ahead and right click on the fusion composition, open the fusion page. And I just like to move the media out over to the right when I start this. The first thing you want to do is right here. There's the background. Go ahead and select it, drag it down and drop it you're almost 50% of the way there to getting this effect done. Now, go up to this rectangle right here and drag it down. Now, all you gotta do is connect these, drag that gray square over to the blue triangle on the background and the gray square on the background to the yellow of the out. Now, you see this is sort of almost the opposite of what you wanna do. So, by having rectangle selected, go ahead and go to invert and just select that. Now, you can see now that the rectangle is the part that has a transparent background. That's what all these little square gray and darker gray squares on the background means. And now from here, you can adjust the background the way that you want it. So we're gonna go ahead and make it wider. And we're gonna make this one right here so that it just has a border around all four sides. You can adjust this to be as thick as you want if you want the border like this, super thick, or you can have it even thinner like that. And you can, of course, just put in the exact numbers there and you'll come up with literally the exact same width of border both ways. So now that if you want to change the color, go ahead and select background and go ahead and right here. This is where you select the color. Now you can go ahead and pick whatever you want, whether it's one of these or you can just drag it around, pick any color you want. You want white, you want light blue, light green, some pinkish reddish color or blue. Sure, we'll go with blue. Why not? Now, if you want it like mine, how one side is uh, not exposed so you can't see it, that's right here. You change the centering. Now, all I do is slide this down and I'm going to make the height slightly bigger so that the top is not overly thick. And there you go. That's how you get a border around just three sides. And just to go ahead and show you, I'll definitely go ahead and grab a picture real quick just to show you this is working completely properly. There you go. We've got a picture behind it and there it now has that border. So if you get anything out of the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe up and Catch you in the next video.